Creating a new project in Firestop Documentation Manager is a simple process, which the solution guides the back office user through. From the main back office application, a back office user simply needs to select the Add a New Project button to begin the new project creation process. From here, Documentation Manager will guide the user through the six steps of project creation. To begin with, the project is required to have a name and reference building with optional notation of the job site address. Additionally, to reduce data entry and save time, the user must also define the category of the first sub-project within this project, such as penetrations or joints. When the project is created, the first sub-project will also be created simultaneously, allowing the customer to get to work right away. Optionally, the user may also document subcontractor and client information, a created project also defaults to an active state, but the back office user has the freedom to create an inactive project, choosing to activate it at a later time, such as the project start date. Documentation Manager also provides the ability for mobile users to add new project hierarchy levels from within the mobile app. This is a powerful level of project management that can be used in the field by experienced users or disabled for the project, ensuring that only back office users can add new hierarchy levels. Next, it's necessary to define the attributes for our first sub-project. All sub-projects are required to have attributes that record the product and system of the documented item, the date, and the specific installer. Product and system options, while required, can be distinct for each sub-project category, with an obviously different set of products for penetrations than for joints. To reduce data entry, the most recently used list of products and systems prefills for the new project, but the user can delete any product or system and add the products they'd like to make available for this sub-project. Documentation Manager will provide a predefined list of all Hilti products for penetrations and joints as appropriate for the customer's area. But the user can also choose to manually enter a new product or system in the case of non-Hilti products or for custom category sub-projects that don't have a predefined Hilti product portfolio. Once products and systems for the first sub-project have been defined, the user is then free to add a number of new custom attributes to record any details of an installed item they wish, simply by clicking the Add a New Attribute button. The user can then define the name of the attribute and how the mobile user can capture it, with freeform text, a selection of predefined options, or both. Attributes can also be dragged up and down to determine the order in which they will present themselves to the mobile user during documentation. Some projects require certain attributes to be recorded before others. Once the attributes are defined, the user must specify the building hierarchy for the project. This hierarchy applies to the project as a whole and will be the available hierarchy for each category sub-project within it. The building hierarchy allows the back office user to divide a project into manageable areas of installation or inspection, such as floor and room. Here, these hierarchy nodes are defined. Once defined, the back office user can then distinguish what levels are within each area of the hierarchy, such as floor numbers or room numbers. While it is often easier to define these hierarchy levels now, it is always possible to add new levels to a hierarchy area after the project is created, or even during project activity. Next, the back office user has the option to upload PDFs of 2D floor plans, which allow users in the field to add floor plan markers for each item, as well as upload any additional documents essential to the project. Lastly, the user can choose to assign mobile users who can access the first sub-project being created. This step is always optional, as back office users can always add or remove mobile users to any active project. When finished, the created project and its first categorized sub-project is now available. At any time, the back office user can add a new sub-project to an existing project by clicking the Add button next to the project name. This will bring them to an abbreviated version of the project creation screen, where they can capture details specific to the new sub-project, such as the sub-project category. A project cannot have two sub-projects with the same category type, so any currently used categories for the project will not be available. Next, the user can define the products, systems, and custom attributes unique to this sub-project. Again, due to inherent installation and maintenance differences between types of fire protection, each sub-project supports its own set of products, systems, and custom attributes. And again, 
the back office user can assign specific mobile users to access and work on each sub-project.